Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. This is going to be my Neodymium or Neodymium episode because that today is my birthday. Or at least the day it's been published. And that's how many years I am. So what I'd like to do is to make some fireworks. So let's get and do that. First of all, I've got with me actually, there is one trick I didn't know. There's actually two tricks. Look at this one ender pouch. If I open this ender pouch up, yeah, nothing in it because it's basically linked to this one. But if I come along here and shift right click this one, it then gets a little red marker on the left hand side and I can open it up and I've got everything that's in there. Look like that. Isn't that awesome? And the second one is actually something I did know but I've completely forgotten about it because it was about two years ago when I saw this last. If you open if there's a key on um let's go and have a look at it controls for the not the dark steel armor but for the draconium evolution and we've got this one here tool and armor config gui which i changed because it was conflicting so if you press i you get the two this one so here you can select the um armor pieces so you've got here and then you can click inventory and here you can see you've got a load of books so here we've got protection for flim flam one thorns to soul bound one if you want to put another one in you put another one in, it gets another in chance if you look at it now it should say i've got a last done two on here isn't that neat and of course with the book with the feet you can do other stuff on this one oh sorry let's press that again open up the inventory you can also change stuff so go back and then you can click height so jump height modifier so i've set it to 500 at the moment which is max which means it gives me a big jump i can also say it's reduced when it's walking so you can turn that off when it's walking and then you can do the same for the leggings so you can basically move b modifier so it's actually 100 percent. so i'm going twice as fast reduce when walking okay i think i'm not sure what that means but there we are then you can open up your armor so arms and weapons so here you've got this attack one here and you've got an inventory and you can put different books in it like that so we've got the oh i haven't got soul bound in there okay let's go and get a soul bound book should have soul bound in here shouldn't i really we're gonna put that in i should have plenty of them because i've been organizing the books up here so it'll be in one of the all books soul bound I mean, probably be one. i just saw it there take this book out of here open up the GUI again let's go to the no, wrong one back I want to go to the sword inventory and put it in this book so now it becomes soul bound as well so look at it indeed how about that so enchanting this to five levels is really not too difficult didn't know that well I did but I forgot about it so I would like to also cover a few more things in this episode let's have a look at this i've got a, an inscriber name press here called fireworks and in fact what i've done is i've labeled this view cell here as fireworks and what you do to do this let's just demonstrate it because that's actually not so it wasn't such a good name that one i should have called it something else so i right click this cutting knife here and i call it a view cell like that and put a piece of iron in it and i can take out this label and I can come along here to an inscriber, put the two into here. So we want basically a view cell that says view cell and fireworks. And we'll put it on here like that. And it'll get labeled and come across here. So now it's a view cell fireworks, which is quite nice. So then you can find it. You can come along here and you can put it into this one like that. And you can see everything that's related to fireworks. So all the colors and things like that. Now what I'd like to do is actually make some fireworks let me just do that actually i forgot where the page was i don't have a page for this um this one you can't see that but i can let's have a look it's just a web page i've got the fireworks web page so you can make different types of fireworks let's come along here like this then i can see both screens at the same time so i need to go a little bit more all right okay right i can see it now 
So to make a firework, you, what you need is basically gunpowder. So we've got plenty of gunpowder in here like this. Uh, and I've got some down here as well. And then you can put some different things with it. So you can have a colour. So let's say we've got pink, some pink dye here like that. So that creates this firework, uh, a firework star. And that's the simplest of all. Then you can add to that, say, glowstone. Like that. And then it becomes a firework twinkle. So it then twinkles with a pink twinkle. So you can take this out of like that, clean that off, put this in here, then you can change it. So let's, for example, let's say we want it to go from pink to a different color. So let's say we change it to say green like, to lime like this. We can change this and it's going to fade to lime like that. And that's how you make those. And you can also do things like have multiple colors in here. So for example, we can have bit of let's have a yellow put some gunpowder in there get the start and then we can also add a gold nugget and a diamond and then it becomes a, a firework star which is star shaped with a, a trail like that so those are basically fireworks or the stars for fireworks so now we actually can put those together to make a firework and basically a firework is a piece of paper do it like this and a firework store and a piece of gunpowder like that so this makes it for one flight duration so let's make it say two take it off and it gets you a different one here so i've got a, a star shaped yellow one yellow and white let's make that say th duration of three like that and of course it's just take these off two like this and then we get a duration of one which is burst like blue brown This is the ones I've already prepared. This is a light blue magenta. Let's just change this one. Let's make this one fade to yellow. So now it's going to fade to yellow. Let's put the button. Let's put this down again. We'll make this a three. What a three? With a piece of paper. And we've got another firework. So I'm going to finish these fireworks off. I think I don't know what's in a good height, and I don't really know what good colours are. But we'll just keep going like this. Make a few more fireworks, change the duration occasionally, make a couple more. And it's quite nice because it's changing them. Let's take some, make some short ones. And that one. I did, yeah, that was okay, good. So this one then becomes just a firework rocket and they're useless. They just go and go up and that's it. But that's basically I've got these. So what we're going to now do, we're going to put this stuff away I've got here. I don't need all the work on this. I don't need these like this. I've got no more space in there. That's a nuisance. Actually, let's take this one out of there and put this into there like that because I've got some ones in this chest. I feel, oh no. Let's have them in another chest. Oh, I know where they are. They're in this bag here. Put the one up there. With all the other ones. So let's go outside. And I've got a little firework display set up here. And all it basically is some dispensers. And in the dispensers, I put some rockets. So these are basically just non non events. So we've got another a long one. And then we'll put some duration twos in here. That's a duration three, three, that's a duration two, and then some duration ones. Go to the next one. And just fill it up with some more. That's a duration two and a duration three. I don't know if I've got enough of these to be honest with you, but it doesn't matter that much, does it? There's a one, another one, and a three. And we'll put those last two in there like that. And I'll come and set this off just before the end of the episode. So the next thing I want to do is go to Castello. I think that's how it's pronounced. Let me just get out of here the rocket. Oh, wrong one. Oh, yes, that's something else reminds me of. Basically, I've been around doing a few more uh, moon dungeons and I found a NASA work bench schematic for a tier 2 rocket which of course is the actual normal progression of galactic science 
So you start in the world, or the overworld, with a tier 1 rocket, come to the moon, and you go around the dungeons and find yourself a tier 2 rocket. And once you've found that, then you can build that and go to Mars. And you also find in here some open computer's discs. So this one's the Mesa, whatever that does, don't ask me. Um, it'll do something useful, I'm sure. Oh, and there was one other thing I forgot about as well, is that was the um, the armour for flight. The, the creative flight's only available for draconic armour. We don't have that yet. I'm not sure if we can ever get it. So let's get... I wanted the rocket, didn't I? They're in here. So I'll have those two, that, that one rocket, taken up spare oxygen tank, which I don't really need, because I think everything that I need is in here, which is available from my pouch. Here, like that. So I think... Got the rocket, yes. And the rocket, and I built another fueling station, all of us. Between episodes, I thought, well, I might as well do it. It saves, it saves putting down a different that thing like that. And then this should be fueled up. So look, press F. Uh, F doesn't work anymore because I've changed it, didn't I? Let's press Escape. And let's press, oh, I want to go Escape, don't I? Escape. I want to go back to Options and Controls. And then put that back to F. I think the Galactic Craft one was F. And there we go. 74, 6% full. So we're just about ready to take off. So let's go for it. I'll just I'll double check that because I'm sure. Oops, press the wrong button again. F. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. Hold on a second. Escape. Cont options, controls, there was a second F down here, now it should be conflicting, hello, oh yeah that one there, creative flight, we can turn that one off, escape, oh that should have been F, sorry, okay so we're ready, let's double check that now, yes good, okay, there we go, I've not been to this, plan uh, this moon before, because it's the moon of Jupiter, oh, there we are, Got my nice uh, armor on, still got my back to you, sorry about that. So I've not been to this moon before. So it would be interesting to see, to see this. It's funny I'm getting sound in one ear only. <laughs> Oh, my face has disappeared from the little rockets going up, probably because of the wave and armour. That's strange. Right, so let's go to Jupiter, let's click to zoom it. And we want to go to this one, I think. Callisto. Right, Callisto, here we go, let's launch to that one. And I probably have to press space to slow down, yes. We're at 800. The Y coordinate of 800. Can we see anything below us? Not really yet, so. You can see there's a map. What time of day is it? I can't see. Because I forgot to bring. Put my clock into the hot bar. So look. Go a little bit faster. You really want to keep going. I did it once and it went. I was too. I told you this already. I was too. There we go. So here we go. Let's get out of this rocket. Press F5 so we can actually see what we're doing again. Right. <laughs> Let's click this. Okay, so we need to take the fuel out first of all. That's no big deal. And remove the launch pad and the rocket, and then we can break this stand here. I'm actually not pressing a five, am I? There we go. So this is what have we got here? Castello surface rock. Let's have a look at this. That was a bit quick. The uh, this is very fast actually. Let's have a look at the uses of this. If there's any uses in it, I don't look like there are any uses for this one at all. And the other one, subsurface rock. Nope, don't look like there's any uses for this at all. So let's just, they haven't actually got a, 
anyway so let's go and set up a base somewhere uh, here we go my favorite place as you can see you walk quite fast but you don't automatically jump up where you do with the the dark steel armor which is so let's just make gosh that's so fast now we're getting something else in here what are we getting this is Costello rock there might be uses for that let's just check this it's quite dark isn't it putting that this doesn't help oh I also upgraded to um, version which one which current version whatever that is 0.14 I think that'll do so let's just put some blocks down here especially the ones which don't gonna do us any good I think that'll do and then we can start we can set up the waypoint and go back to back home I don't think there's any point in doing anything else within this base at the moment let's just block that off a bit so that there's no mobs around good well no mobs that can get to us and then let's make this a bit a bit wider you see it's you see it's repairing as I'm doing this as well but it is very dark okay I think that'll be enough let's get out of here a waystone we've got our warp stone with it that's very important because otherwise we wouldn't have to use the return score to get back to the moon base I don't need to take an energy but we'll use one of these so we'll put that down I think so we have somewhere always where shall we put it let's put it let's put the chest down there and then we'll put the waste stone beside it give it a name so this is Cal Isto then we right click it and then we can actually teleport there any time we like so let's have a look have we got any uses for the rock nope nothing at all that's a bit of a shame really you'd, you'd hope you know you'd have some uses for this so let's go back to let's go back to base moon base in fact I should have gone to Venus because I've forgotten to do something there I set up another quarry and you can see it's it's gone so what I was saying about 0 0.14 they've reduced removed a few items one of which was the spawn controller or spawner controller so that's now disappeared so after all that work and making one of those it's gone <laughs> never mind it is a development pack so there we are but I believe that the quests have been reset and I haven't reset these quests yet let's go back to quests and it's mainly crystallized I think there's some more stuff in crystallize this one doesn't have a cooldown on it which is strange because this is the one for um, unstable ingots I don't know why that is what else has not got a cooldown on it that one's not cut that's not got it this one has so we can actually do Martians again and this one has but I'm not sure why this one would need it because that basically is just another book and then this one's got none this one has so we can get some of these which is great because then you can increase your health so with five dollars we can do that have we got any money on us not in there but I guess we've got plenty in here yeah, no shortage what I'm going to do here though is to turn on this because I don't want the machines kicking in at the moment because if they do when they do kick in then it becomes a bit it becomes a bit sort of laggy because I don't really need things being made as oops can't get out the door being crafted at the time There's probably some stuff on here that's being crafted and you always you notice that one that was just went back there it was a big CPU yeah this is one this is actually quite a heavy one because that's actually making I think
yeah this one's C CPU big CPU which is downstairs and I basically labeled one of the, the blocks and called it big CPU that's it because this is making a 16 case crafting store storage component right so I do need to go and visit Venus again because I think I didn't put down any spot loaders now in the back here I should have some spot loaders ready yes I've got a couple here and in fact I think I should have some markers around as well so, oh I know what I did with the markers yeah oh that's not going to work is it because I've still got the crafting the view cell in here for fireworks so that <laughs> so that wasn't so clever was it so what we can do is put in this rock that's of no use whatsoever and we won't put it we won't bother setting up a quarry in that case will we in fact i can put the well, I'll put these back so I'll put that back and that one that one and the rocket and the launch pad i think that's what i need to do there really The other bits that were removed aren't really relevant to us. I went under five dollars, didn't I? Five dollars. Oops. Oh, the banner. So is it okay? Good. I've got some in stock, of course, from the pre. Ah, oh, that's why I couldn't find the dollars. Yes. I've got four hundred ninety-one dollars, which is actually not bad. It's almost enough. Almost. I'll tell you what we can do. Let's come along here. Let's trigger this thing. I don't want you to do that. I'm not even sure why you're there, to be honest with you. Let's go back. Oh, probably because it was one of these. See, you get some things which get blocked from time to time. Nope, not in there. Ah, oh, but what I wanted to do is to put the $64 in there, so it'll actually make $64. That, that that should come into here no problem at all i'll we'll leave that in a few seconds i reckon that'll come in um this is where we're crafting one dollar bills so we're right so what i wanted to do was to claim that crystallized quest wasn't it detect it claim it done and that has also resets so we can do it again and it says quest completed grow stronger so of course what we do with these is we put these into our inventory here like this so we put that one goes up there that one goes in there and that one goes in there then we get another three hearts you can do that three times we've got ten times and of course every time you do that you can look at your heart just above your bar and your hearts they start to go orange in fact that can go make it go faster by going through the, the region stuff here like that so I can do that again, ten times, we'll have some, I think you actually end up with green hearts eventually when they're all full. So it goes orange, yellow and green. So that's that trick for you. So we'd need about, well for three each time we'd need ten wouldn't we? So we'd need to get some more dollars but that's no big deal. Money ain't a problem, but it doesn't seem to be crafting that for some reason or other. I wonder why not. Probably because, don't know, no idea. Never mind. Well, what else would I like to do? We've, we've been to Castello. We've been everywhere now, and all the planets. So we've got all of the planets and the moons sorted out. I'm just trying to think if there's anything interesting that I've done between episodes before we set the fireworks off. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a wave and bow, didn't I? So let's have a look at that. Can we do this? Not yet. We've got everything we need for that. What I haven't got is a bow. And what I'm curious about. So here I've got two bows. This one's just got power two on it. Now we can actually craft this with a power two bow. Enchanted bow like this. I'll take it out like that and you see it's charging up so let's have a look at this one now let's open up our inventory again press the I button 
we can now click on this one so we've got different damages base damage which we can create we can actually increase that here can we okay that's maxed already arrow velocity modifier make it 100 percent so that basically oh i see that increased the rf per shot so zero is 2000 rf per shot and this one increases to that so it makes quite a difference so max damage at the moment is six so i'm also curious about whether it's got any no it didn't take the book okay good we can go test this out i reckon we've got a boat i know i need infinity don't i now i have got an infinity book it's because i've got some bows over here I ordered one of these was bows. So in all we should have unbreaking, which we don't need. I don't think unbreaking oh that's in the wrong place. Is that bows? Oh dear. I can do auto smelt. And maybe that's not such useful. Maybe flame is better. Am I in the right chest? Oh yes, soul bound. We have plenty of soul bounds. The ones in fire protection should be in the, in the armor one, which is here. I must have put them in the wrong place. Bows. So in bows you've got different things like infinity. That's a great one to have on a bow, isn't it? Flame. I think flame you can double up. Punch. Uh, I'll use punch off because it then not basically gives knock back. Power five. So there we go. Let's go and see if we can increase flame. I have got an arrow with me by the way, I probably haven't, but I've got one in the bag here. Oh, I also got a mob soul. I was um, going around some dungeon, I came up, spider got, was, you know, with this armor, you don't even know the spiders are on top of you until you turn around or you've got your headphones on because you can't see anything, you don't get affected at all. You normally get pushed around, don't you? But with the waving armor, you don't see anything at all. So let's open up this let's have a look let's see if this works we're gonna have to find some mobs oh that looks freaky doesn't it oh different looking different looking arrow too right i've seen a mob there's one over here it'll be a baby zombie stuck in a hole i bet you anything oh look So easy, try again. <laughs> you can't get out of the thing, which is funny. Oh, of course, I haven't got infinity on this. So let's open up the inventory now and put infin infinity. Let's put all these things in inventory on in it. So we'll put flame, infinity, soul bound, power. Let's try again. I was going to see if I could get infinity if there was a flame too. And I forgot. Okay, now we should be able to shoot test this off again. One of those. Oh, try again. <laughs> so he's still alive. She's not doing so much damage as I was hoping him to do. Four shots on the mini zombie, that's... Well, it didn't lose my arrow, so I've still got the arrow, so that's definitely working. Let's see if we can go and get some flame on it. wonder if you can put a second power book into this. Oh, by the way, Dark Seal anvils are great. Highly recommended. No, you see, you've only got a flame one, so there's no... I thought that's why I didn't do it. So we can put flame on here as well. Oops. I don't want, I want, I would get this too confused up, don't I, a bit. So let's look at this one. Oh, you got magnification too. So let's put this one into here like that. Power five, what's its uses now? So what's it telling me about this? Base damage two. That's actually not so great. Arrow velocity 100%. Draw speed 1.6 seconds. 
So let's go and uh, open that up again. Oh, what did I just press? I think I pressed F or something like that. So you can put flim flam on it, which it basically hurts people. Infinity flame and power five, soul bound one. And that changes the weight. Okay, good. Oh, it actually tells you what the enchants are here. Yeah. But I'm not exactly sure how I got to that. <laughs> I think I might have pressed F. No. Because that was there, wasn't it? I don't know what I did. I will be honest with you. Must have been one of the buttons I was pressing. So let's go back into the inventory again. Oops, wrong one. And again. So explosive power, base damage. So I, to increase that, I'm going to have to put this into a, into this, and then I can increase its base damage. I guess. Yes, there. So watch one be base damage. RF capacity, draw speed, arrow velocity, and base damage. So we can. It's not going to give us a huge amount. Let's just see whether or not. Oh, well, that's cool. Let's just see if we can actually make a core. Or oh, we've got a core around. I've got four of these. And I think you can take three out. Let's just try. It looks like you're going to get. For one of these, you're basically going to get. Where's it gone to? Ah, yes, I can add this one because you see that now this has got a plus on it, so I can add some cores to this. I remove the cores, so that's it. So basically, you've got three of those. So now, base damage is what it should be a bit more. Oh, doesn't really tell me that much. Base damage is still too. Ah, I know. So now I have to go back and open it up. And I reckon we can reconfigure this now. So let's go base damage. So now we've got three. We can make it five. Max damage 15. Okay. Let's go and test this out again. See if we can find a mob. There's loads of them around normally. Maybe I don't want to go down there. How a day is it? Oh, it's midday, so it's not going to help very much, is it? Okay. I'll do that some other time. For now, I think it's time at 33 minutes to do the firework display. I was going to hopefully wait for night time, but it's night time takes quite a long time uh, on the moon. What I've done here is I've also... Oh, this is just a simple redstone clock, by the way. Uh, it should be. I think that's going to work. I must drop two redstone out of that clock. Let me go and get the redstone. Not in there. Who have we got some redstone? Six. Take that with us. If I'm not mistaken, it should just come along like that. And that's it. And then it should tick. I can actually test it. Let's just test this by breaking that one. And you flick the switch here, it should just go around like oops, yeah, that's right. Phew. Put this one back again. Now I'm going to launch the the firework display. Just a second before I do that. I press F1 so we can Hopefully I can reach this now. There we go. First few were just ordinary fireworks. And the rest of these ones. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, yeah, there's the... Uh, head. That's it. That wasn't so spectacular, was it? So, <laughs> this...
this is my last episode until after, until the new year, or I think it will be. So I all wish you all the best for Christmas and a happy new year. So until next time, bye for now. <laughs>